All right, guys, you asked for it. We are going to do a normal cycle on the upper washer of the Samsung Flex Wash today. So what we're gonna be washing, we have a little oven mitt back there, a couple kitchen towels. They're not overly thick. They're just thick enough to uh, wipe up spills and clean up small messes. And then we have a wash band in a laundry bag there. Uh, it's a very small random item, but it just needed to be washed. Um, it's a cloth wash band. And uh, we don't, since it is kind of small, we don't want it to possibly get lost in the machine while it's spinning. So that's why we have it in the laundry bag. Um, this is the kind of load that I, uh, that the upper washer is meant to wash on normal, just pretty much normal clothing. Um, probably mostly shirts and stuff like that. Um, like socks, maybe things like that, like I said. Um, but yeah, just if you want to do a small load of something. Anyway, the way we're going to do this, we have what Samsung calls the Aqua Pebble. And this is where you put your HB detergent in. It's going to be kind of hard for me to show you at the same time, I think. I'm going to do this over the machine just so nothing spills. This detergent is clear, by the way. I'm not going to put a lot. As you can see, I'm actually going under the max fill line. You, this machine like needs next to no deter uh, detergent. And you just put that right in the middle of the drum. At this point, we can close the drum up all the way. I don't, I don't know what this thing is. Looks like maybe detergent residue. Throw that away. All right. So let's hope that all goes well. Um, knock on wood knock on some wood. All right, let's close the lid and get the machine started. So we're gonna do power, normal, um, and you know what? I'll actually turn on the sound for you guys. So I'll turn the sound on, normal and start. It's doing warm water. We're not gonna do an extra rinse on this. Um, and this time, let me just adjust my camera real quick. Um, I'm gonna try, we're, we're, hold on, I am gonna do the whole cycle. I'm not gonna interrupt it and do like something else with showing the machines and whatnot. I already did that during the self-clean because there weren't any actual clothes in it. But now since there are actually clothes in the machine, we're going to show you the whole cycle, the whole 43 minute cycle. Again, this is with warm water and an extra rinse. Or not, sorry, not an extra rinse, with just uh, the normal rinse, we're not doing extra rinse. And yeah, 43 minutes. So let's see how this goes. All right, we're starting off with the fill. It did its sensing routine, so I'm actually kind of interested to see how much water it puts in here. I'm gonna assume it's probably still gonna just do the full thing of water, because that's what it seems to always do, pretty much. realize the lighting here you might not be able to see too well in there. Let me try raising the camera up so you can get kind of more of like an eagle eye view. Okay that should be good. You know it's not really a front view but I don't have something to prop up in front of the machine right now. Um, and I don't want to put the camera on top of the machine because during the spin, I don't want the vibration to possibly knock it over. Because then that would basically ruin the whole video. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm honestly shocked with the reception that I received with uh, the self-clean on the upper washer here. I mean, I knew that the Samsung Flex Wash was not a very popular washer. Well, may maybe that's not the right way of addressing it. I mean. I don't really know. It just seems like a lot of people weren't really using it. Like there weren't really many of them. Like there next to no videos of it actually running. I mean, there's like reviews 
but I don't know, I don't really count that as like running because most of the time the reviews don't show the machine doing like a full cycle like I'm showing you now. Okay, so it looks like the aqua pebble actually sank. So we're filling up with the detergent now. And again, I put like very little detergent in here. And I'm using HE detergent too. Okay, so it actually did not fill up all the way. That's good. Maybe because it was playing on doing that. I don't really know how that cleans the clothes, honestly, but whatever. It's still a cool motion to watch. Oh, also, if you guys want to see any videos of the lower washer running, or maybe even the dryer, um, just let me know, and I'll try getting videos of those. Um, I figure most people probably prefer to see the upper washer running, though, because you don't really see the upper washer running, and obviously you can't see LG's twin wash running because it's in a pedestal, and you can't have the machine open while it's washing. So this is the only time you can really actually see one of those like mini washers actually washing is with the Samsung here. Let's see, we're gonna start doing some intense ag agitation. Okay, huh. I guess we're filling up more, okay. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't think I finished my last thought. Um, again, if you guys want to see the lower washer running, totally fine. Just let me know if you want sp uh, specific cycles or not. I'm gonna tr probably I'm gonna try doing every cycle on the upper washer, um, even rinse and spin. I'll see if there's anything that we need that needs to be rinsed and spun. Um, I heard that that cycle can be good for pre-treating stained clothing. So maybe I'll use that if we have any like stained clothing. Ah, here we have some agitation. This is what you guys came to see, I bet. This thing's got some intense wash action considering it's just a little guy. And by the way, you're seeing soap bubbles there. That's literally like on the very top. There's like very little soap bubbles in there. That's just from all the agitation. and it's not even reaching the top of the machine. And quite honestly, I don't think I've ever actually sat here and watched a whole cycle of this thing washing clothes myself. What are we doing now? Ah, this, this is what I thought was going to happen with the self-clean. You see how there's water, there was water over here? I thought we were going to see that during the self-clean, but I guess not. So. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to see lower washer, just let me know. Although I think it's pretty much just a five cubic foot, you know, your average everyday Samsung front loader just inside the flex wash uh, cabinet with the mini washer on top. All right, agitation again. Ooh, fancy, aggressive. This is why you don't want to wash uh, delicate items on the normal cycle in this thing. Some people might just refer to this as the delicate washer, but quite to the contrary here, this thing is not delicate on the normal cycle. Whew. 
Ooh, look at that thing go. nothing in the dryer that's good so now I know that it's free for when I need to put this in there but I might just use the upper dryer quite honestly we'll we'll see what fits where might just be easier to use the upper dryer the towels are the only thing I'm worried about not drying fully in the upper dryer but then again they're towels so no they could be okay I just don't want to waste the energy in running the lower or the tumble dryer if I don't have to. Because this literally is only four things that we're washing with this. There's nothing in the main washer right now. We finished all that laundry. This is just some random stuff, and I'm just like, eh, I'll throw it in here and make the video. You know, I've never seen an LG Twin Wash, like, actively run in person. No one I know personally, at least I don't think they do, or at least I don't think anyone uh, I know personally has an LG uh, Twin Wash um, pedestal washer. But if they do, then I've never had the chance to see it run or listen to it and see what, or, like, hear what it does, because... And obviously I can't see what it does, but if it has any sort of aggressive wash action like this, you're definitely bound to hear it. I've seen it do much more aggressive um, spinning, though, with all the water in it, where like there was literally water, um, like a water jet spraying all around the side here. But maybe it's just not going to do that today. Maybe it just depends on the cycle or what it thinks is what it uh, thinks is inside. But then again, we're still in the wash phase, so it could potentially just be doing it again, like what we're doing right now. I've definitely seen it do it for much longer before. Maybe because of the water level or something. I don't know. glad that the warm water doesn't fog up the um, the viewing window though like the self-clean does. I think it's because self-clean actually uses hot water. And I doubt the mini washer has its own heater um, but maybe like both washers have a common heater or something. I don't know. What's really impressive to me is how Samsung managed to make this um, the upper lower washer and the upper and lower dryer all like how they were able to make them all not pull enough electricity um, to trip a breaker while running at the same time on the same outlet because I've done plenty of loads before where we literally have all four machines running 
Um, I mean, the dryer is not an electric dryer, so like I said, it just plugs into like the normal outlet, the same one that the washer plugs into. Um, and we've had all four machines running. These two uh, machines spinning at like their max speeds, the dryers drying, you know, like high heat. Or may maybe, I I'm sure there has to have been a moment where that happened. Maybe not, I mean, that probably doesn't happen often. You know, that had to be like really specific timing, but still, like they, they probably had to test for that in uh, their machine testing, or at least I hope they did. Because like, that, I just imagine that pulls a lot of power. And you know, you wouldn't think that'd be safe, but I don't know. It, it, it probably also depends on your circuitry at home. Like I think these are plugged into a uh, 20 amp outlet so it can handle 20 amps um, being pulled from it, which is a, a unit of electricity in case uh, some of you who are watching this didn't know that. You can definitely find a lot more useful uh, electrical videos on YouTube too, if that sort of thing interests you, like it interests me. But yeah, the 15 amp outlets though, because these things have 15 amp plugs, um, I can only imagine they had to make sure that they could all be running at like their maximum potential um, while pulling from the same outlet without tripping a 15 amp breaker, but I don't know. I could, I could be wrong. I don't know Samsung's testing pro uh, process, so who knows? I don't know why, but to me it's like super satisfying seeing the water like fold into itself as it winds up for the massive uh, agitation. Just a random fact because um, I don't want to talk when this happens, but um, at the end of the cycle, you know the Samsung end of cycle signal, the end of cycle song? That's actually a real song in case some of you didn't know. It's a song called The Trout by either like a, a 17th century uh, German or, or not, not 17th century, an 18th, no, 19th century um, German or Austrian composer I believe it was the song is called the trout you can try looking it up on YouTube um, there's not really any specific parts that you can find like easily that are just the part that Samsung used because it's a pretty long song I think the song on average goes for like 10 minutes in length maybe even longer um, but there was like this piano duet um, with like some people playing it at least to, like just the portion that Samsung used um, so that was pretty cool if you want to check that out too But yeah, I just wanted to share that fact with you so then I didn't have to talk while the machine actually did its singing at the end of the video. And you guys probably also wouldn't be able to hear me over the spin, too. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that'll be another interesting thing to see is how it balances uh, itself out for the spin. Because, you know, since it's a top loader, it's definitely much harder to balance than a front loader. Um, well, actually, no, that, it might actually be the opposite, because, you know, the front loader has to work against gravity. Here, the top loader works with gravity, so who knows? In case some of you are wondering why I didn't have the sound on at the beginning of the video, we have the sound off on all the machines just because there's no way to control the volume of them. And honestly, they're just kind of loud and, you know, every time you hit a button, you know, the sound beeps and it's just, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> so that's why we have those off on a regular basis. But again, I just turned the sound on for the video because I figured some people would like to hear it, especially if you don't have a Samsung yourself.
Because trust me, it is an experience. Having your washer and dryer sing to you. I mean, if you have an LG, then you know, you kind of get it, but Samsung, you get like a whole symphony and then some. I should look up if LG's um, end of cycle signal is a real song too. I wouldn't be too surprised if it is. I'll be right back, but I'm just gonna leave this, leave you guys watching the machine. I have returned. Just had to tell um, tell someone that I had the music on, so then they didn't think that it was beeping an error code or something. At the end of the cycle. I don't know why I filled up just now, though. That's kind of weird. I'm sure it has its rhyme and reason, though. We got 23 minutes left, though, so we might be entering the rinse soon. I hope. Yep, there's the, there's the drain for the wash. We're moving on to the rinse stage. We're probably going to get to see a uh, intermediate wash and rinse uh, spin cycle. Um, I forgot, though, because it's been so long since I've actually seen this thing run. Not a uh, normal cycle. But uh, we'll find out. really fast. Those are some soapy clothes.
Seems like it balances itself out pretty well. This is actually kind of shaking the camera a bit. Stabilize it, see if it makes it better. Let's see some water maybe? No? Sensing for it didn't. Nothing changed since you started the cycle. You should know this. Your timer is still going down. And, you know, the door hasn't been unlocked. It knows whether the door has been unlocked or not. There's a little button on the on the projective cover down there that um, it won't let you start the machine unless it's uh, closed all the way. Nice to like a little spray rinse thing. That's good, it'll help get some of the soap out sooner. Okay, I'm shaking it. During the spin, I'm probably gonna have to hold it so that it doesn't, uh, so the camera's not too shaky. Door for the lower washer open even more because it wasn't open all the way. It was only open like 
maybe three quarters of the way. <laughs> and it just sh shook the door open. That's funny. Okay, so we're at 14 minutes left. I think it only does one rinse, maybe. We are leaking water on the floor. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. This is what I feared. Yeah, so now there's water all over the floor. This is what we gotta do. It's only when there's clothes in it for whatever reason. Like, I mean, as you guys saw, it made it all the way to the water, or through the wash, as soon as it started filling up the rinse we started getting problems. So this is the emergency drain you get on the panel down here. Um, this is an emergency drain for the, both the lower washer and the upper washer. So if something like this happens, this is the approach to take and we're gonna have to lift this thing up, use a towel and wipe under there. Luckily this is a tile floor. So, you know, we don't have any water damage to like wood or anything, but this is still not something that should be happening when you use your washing machine. So this is probably gonna be the end of uh, upper washer videos. If you guys still wanna see lower washer stuff, then I can probably do that, cause you know, we've had good luck with that, knock on wood.